we are observing a spacefaring power losing its capability to reach space for the second instance in two months. A Russian spacecraft successfully docked with the ISS, but it has developed a leak. Was it caused by a micrometeoroid strike or is Russia's aging space industry showing cracks? What impact will this have on the safety of the ISS? In this video we will answer these questions. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest space news and updates. A Russian Progress supply ship achieved a successful docking with the ISS, but another Progress that docked at a different port encountered a sudden loss of coolant, similar to the incident that disabled a Soyuz cruise ship in December. It is unclear whether the Progress ms 2182s spacecraft malfunctioned or was hit by space debris or a micrometeoroid similar to the small particle that ruptured a coolant line on the Soyuz MS-2268's crew ferry ship two months ago. The Russian space agency Roscosmos stated that a depressurization event had occurred, but it did not specify which system was affected. However, NASA later clarified that the TSC coolant had leaked out into space, and the leak had stopped. The crew aboard the space station was in no danger. The Russians configured the 82P to a dormant low-power mount, keeping only essential equipment powered. The Progress is now loaded with trash and equipment that is no longer required and is scheduled to undock from the lab complex. Dmitry Strugovitz, a former head of the Roscosmos press service, later confirmed that the event was a coolant leak. This is the second Russian spacecraft to suffer a cooling system leak at the space station in less than two months. On December 14, 2022, as two cosmonauts prepared to conduct a spacewalk outside the space station, the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft docked nearby began to leak uncontrollably from its external cooling loop. The system carries heat away from the spacecraft's interior. Russian engineers declared that a micrometeorite had struck the external cooling loop of the spacecraft and deemed it unsafe to fly home. It is not clear how directly the leaky progress and Soyuz spacecraft are related. However, according to one source, preliminary data received from the Progress vehicle indicates a similar cooling system issue. External cameras show frozen coolant flakes moving away from the Progress vehicle, similar to what was observed during the Soyuz MS-22 failure. In January, officials from Roscosmos and NASA announced that a replacement Soyuz would launch and autonomously dock with the station in February. The MS-22 crew, including cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Pedelin and NASA's Frank Rubio, were planned to endure a routine six-month residency on the International Space Station. They boarded MS-22 in September 2022 and were scheduled to return via the craft in March. The spacecraft MS-22 is presently attached to the ISS, however, it has been determined unsuitable to transport crew members back to Earth unless a crisis necessitating the evacuation of the ISS arises. The leaky Soyuz MS-22 will make an autonomous return to Earth without a crew in March. The crew will now fly home in Soyuz MS-23 later in 2023. Roscosmos lacks certainty as to the cause of the leak, resulting in the delay of the launch. Presumably, the agency desires to confirm that no overarching problem is impacting all Soyuz and Progress craft prior to authorizing the takeoff of Soyuz MS-23. Roscosmos wrote in a Telegram post, A commission is working on the Progress MS-21 case. Until the cause of the emergency situation is determined, a decision was made to postpone the launch of the Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft in unmanned mode. On October 26, 2022, the launch of Progress MS-21 took place from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Two days later, the spacecraft successfully docked with the ISS, delivering 2.5 tons of cargo, which included an assortment of equipment, fuel, compressed nitrogen, water, and food. The Soyuz spaceships from Russia are utilized to transport astronauts between the Earth and the ISS, while the Progress MS vessels are tasked with delivering supplies and conducting orbit corrections for the ISS. Ross Cosmos, after the Progress incident, stated that it won't affect the future station program, which is probably true for Progress MS-21. The spacecraft has already been loaded with debris and other materials to be cleared from the station and has been scheduled to depart. It will burn up during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. However, it's too soon to draw conclusions for future missions. A vital question is what caused the depressurization event that was observed. It seems unlikely that a second micrometeorite would hit another Russian spacecraft in two months, and this raises doubts about whether the Soyuz MS-22 failure was caused by a micrometeorite issue. Russia has not released images of the impact site, and it could possibly be a manufacturing defect. Several hours after the Progress depressurization incident, more questions than answers arose, 
but none of this will ease NASA's partnership with Russia in operating the space station. These latest Soyuz and Progress failures are just a few of the many recent issues, including the NACO module's misfiring thrusters in 2021, a Soyuz booster failure in 2018 that forced a lax seat auction, and Nick Haig's emergency return to Earth, or another leaky Soyuz vehicle. Such issues are typical of the space industry in Russia, which relies on aging infrastructure, aging technology, and quality control issues due to inadequate budget. Last month, not only a spacecraft but also a Russian Cosmos 2499 satellite broke up for the second time, according to the 18th Space Defense Squadron of the Space Force in a recent tweet. They are currently monitoring 85 individual pieces of debris at an altitude of 1,169 kilometers or 726 miles. That breakup occurred on January 4th of this year, but the reason for the disintegration remains unknown. Debris at such high altitudes takes decades to deorbit and burn up in the atmosphere, and its existence in Earth's orbit is becoming more common. However, this is the second breakup event of Cosmos 2499. According to Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics who also tracks space debris, the first fragmentation was on October 23, 2021, which produced 22 pieces of trackable debris. The satellite's history is fascinating. Russia launched Cosmos 2499 quietly on May 23, 2014, but tracking showed that the satellite was making unusual maneuvers, leading some to speculate that it might be an experimental anti-satellite weapon, a satellite maintenance vehicle, or a space debris collector. However, an article on the official website of the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology indicated that the satellite was intended to test experimental plasma propulsion engines and ion thrusters. But the first and now second breakup events were believed to be caused by an explosion of the propulsion system. Leo Labs Incorporated, a commercial provider of low-Earth orbit mapping and tracking, tweeted about the current situation, stating that their analysis points towards a low-intensity explosion due to the asymmetry of the debris cloud magnitude of the velocity imparted to the fragments and a known energetic source on board, which would be the propulsion system. Leo Labs and another identical spacecraft, Cosmos 2491, exploded in 2020, and that event was attributed to an explosion of the propulsion system. This event follows a recent close call where two pieces of a leftover Soviet-era space jump pass within feet of each other on January 27, 2023, and a piece of rocket stage came as close as 19.7 feet or 6 meters from a defunct satellite at the altitude of 611 miles or 984 kilometers above the Earth's surface. If the two had collided, it would have created a debris cloud filled with thousands of small pieces of hazardous space debris. That ends today's video. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching.